Hey everybody and welcome to the N Channel video blog. And today what I want to talk about is converting DC electricity into AC. And the motivation for this video comes directly from first semester electronics when we learned about the diode and how we were able to transition AC electricity into DC. It always puzzled me how to actually convert it into AC again. By controlling the flow of DC electricity, we're able to actually alternate the flow patterns. And this is how we get alternating current from a DC power supply. Now the way we control this circuit is a very simplistic way, and all it requires is four electronic switches. In this case, I'm using MOSFETs. And what it does is two MOSFETs are turned on at one time, along a pathway to occur over the load. And then when they're off, the other ones are on, making an alternative pathway for the current to flow. Now in order for this circuit to work, it's a really simplistic approach. All we need to do is to have one side of the circuit enabled and the other side disabled. And we do that by just writing digital high or digital low. Now, in this case, we defined our PP, which is our positive pathway for DC current flow, as pin terminal number 3 on my Arduino. And for the negative pathway, it was pin number 5. And now in our void setup, as you can see, we just set up the pin modes for our outputs. So that way you can actually write them digital high or digital low. In our void loop, what we have is digital write uh, positive pathway high and we always have to make sure that the alternate is off or else we can get some serious problems so we digital write that low then we delay for the appropriate time in microseconds in this case this with propagation delay actually leads me very close to 60 hertz which is my respective frequency of my AC electricity at home and then we have to do the alternating side of that so it's the inverse of what we just did and that's overall the basic way of how this Arduino code actually powers up the circuit to get that 60 hertz alternating current flow from a DC power supply. Now in order to create a sine wave, what we would need to do is actually stagger the steps in between instead of just writing it digitally high. And we'd have to create smaller waveforms which can actually accommodate what a sine wave would look like. And as well as putting some filter capacitors to actually smooth the transition would always be a good idea.